In this lesson, you will practice comparing three-digit numbers. Before we try any problems, let me remind you of the symbols that you will need to solve some of these problems. The first symbol is the greater than symbol. It means that the number on the left is greater than the number on the right. The next symbol is the less than symbol. It means that the number on the left is less than the number on the right. The last symbol is the equal to symbol. And this symbol means that the number on the left has the same amount or has the same value as the number on the right. OK, now let's look at some problems together. Here's the first problem. You have 231 on the left, and you have 127 on the right. Before we think about which number is greater, I want to talk about the steps. When you have a three-digit number, you begin by comparing the greatest place value. For a three-digit number, the greatest place value is the hundreds place, and I'm going to draw arrows over the hundreds place. When two numbers have the same number of hundreds, then you'll have to compare other digits. But for the meantime, if one number has a greater number of hundreds, that number is greater. Let's look at the numbers we have here. We have 231 and 127. 231 has two hundreds. 127 has 100. Because the hundreds place is different in these numbers, you don't have to look at any other digits, and you can make the comparison right now. 231 has more hundreds, so 231 is the greater number. OK, now let's look at the next example. You have 155 on the left and 158 on the right. Begin by comparing the hundreds. You have 100 in 155 and 100 in 158. This means you have to compare other digits, and the reason is because both these numbers have the same number of hundreds. The next step is to compare the digits in the tens place. If one number has a greater number of tens, then that number is greater. Let's take a look. 155 has a 5 in the tens place, and 158 also has a 5 in the tens place. Now this means you're going to have to go one more step and compare the digits in the ones place. Let's look at the digits in the ones. Here in 155 there is a 5 in the ones place and here there is an 8 in the ones place. 8 ones are greater than 5 ones. This means that 155 is less than 158. And for the last example you have the numbers written in base 10 blocks. And let's talk about what numbers are shown here first. Remember that a flat like this represents 100. Let's see how many hundreds each number has. I see one, two flats on this side, and one, two flats on this side as well. So these numbers have the same amount of hundreds. Let me count the tens in blue. The number on the left has one, two, two tens. And the number on the right has 1, 2. It has the same number. It has two tens as well. So now we need to compare the ones. Let's take a look. The number on the left has 1, 1, and that's in red. And the number on the right also has 1, 1. So let's write this all together. This number has two hundreds flats, two tens, and 1, 1. The number on the right has two hundreds flats, two tens, and one one as well. Because both of these numbers have the same amount of hundreds, tens, and ones. This means the numbers are equal. Thanks for watching.